Gents, as you might imagine, I hear from a lot of men who are struggling uh, in the relationships. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this, and I can't get into all of them here in this, this video, but I will share one reoccurring trend that I see, and I hope that this serves uh, those of you who are not yet in committed relationships, uh, and those of you who are in committed relationships, hopefully this will serve you and, and help you get back on the path. This trend that I see, or this uh, common link between a lot of the struggling relationships, is being with a woman who does not have a growth mindset. She is not interested in improving and fixing herself and getting better and evolving and growing to any capacity. That's a very, very frustrating position to be in. Uh, so if you are with a woman who has a closed mindset, she's not open to this growth and expansion and knowledge and new perspectives and new ideas and getting better, uh, and you haven't committed to her yet, I would, I would highly, highly encourage you to think twice about making the decision to commit with this woman for the long term. It's going to be painful, it's going to be frustrating, uh, to say the least, and it's not gonna be conducive to a great relationship. Now, if you're already in a committed relationship, of course you wanna make it work. Of course you want her to improve and to grow. Of course you want the relationship to thrive. You have an obligation, a responsibility, you made a commitment. So what can we do to fix this situation? That's what I'm gonna share with you here in just a second. Number one, you need to have a growth mindset yourself. You do not have the right to complain about what she is or is not doing if you're not willing to do the same thing for yourself. Look, I get it, a lot of guys will complain. I'm busy, I, I've got these responsibilities, I've got a job and I've got this project, I've got these obligations. And so what they'll do is they'll use that as an excuse not to take care of themselves, not to continue to gain new knowledge and education, uh, not to find and pick up new hobbies that are gonna edify them and uplift them. And so they'll complain about what their spouse is or isn't doing and yet they're not willing to do it for themselves. Learn to take care of yourself. Learn to carve out time every single day to focus on you spiritually, mentally, emotionally, in all ways, take care of yourself so you're more adequately prepared to take care of others. Tip number two, encourage her, help her, support her, offer support and, and encouragement when she wants to take care of herself. Now look, the way that you grow and the way that she grows doesn't have to be the same. It's gonna be different. I used to complain and bitch and moan and gripe and undermine and make my wife feel bad about wanting to take care of herself in her own unique way. Why? Because there was a sacrifice on my part required, right? I'd have to watch the kids or I wouldn't be able to be with her or I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do. And so I'd complain about maybe her not having the growth mindset. And then when she wanted to actually go out and do something, I'd undermine it. Guys, if you want her to be growth oriented, then encourage her in her own way, not your way, her way. Have her pick up hobbies and interests and activities and education and knowledge and friends who are gonna edify her uplift her and push her in the way that she needs to grow, that she wants to grow. And when she does, she's gonna come back to the relationship stronger. Third point here, and this is, uh, this is very 30,000 foot view and maybe not very specific or general, but it's important, is you need to be a man of your word. You need to be the type of leader who is strong and bold and assertive and kind and compassionate and loving and empathetic and wants your family to win. And you need to be the type of man that you're capable of becoming. When you say you're gonna take out the trash, you need to take out the trash. When you say you're gonna start a new business and it's gonna thrive and, and, and win and everything's gonna be great, it better damn well be that way. Because she's looking to you as the leader. And if you can't be a man of your word, you're undermining your credibility and authority and influence with her. So when you notice something, not only with your wife, but your kids, that needs to be addressed, if she doesn't believe you, if there's no credibility or authority or influence with her or in her eyes regarding you, then she's not gonna take that to heart. The way that you show up when it doesn't matter or seemingly doesn't matter is very, very important because when it does matter and you see there's a, a blind spot or a hole or something that needs to be addressed, it's your responsibility to make sure that gets brought up and she's only gonna take that information to the degree that she believes in you. Therefore, you need to be a man of your word, you need to be influential, you need to be supportive, you need to do the things that you say you will do, and you need to win in all ways. 
That way she's more likely to listen to you and take your advice when you tell her to go find a friend or find a hobby or find an activity or read a new book or go to, go to a course or do whatever it is that you're encouraging her to do so she will have this growth mindset. Let's wrap this up. If you are not committed currently, but you're in a relationship or looking for a relationship, please, I urge you, find a woman who has a growth-oriented mindset. If she does not, think long and hard about making that commitment. If you're already in the commitment, you need to learn to take care of yourself, you need to encourage her in every way to take care of hers, and you need to be the man that you're capable of becoming. So when you say something, when you speak, you speak with influence, credibility, and authority. I hope that helps, guys. If you have any other uh, questions, thoughts, ideas, drop them in the comments, and uh, let's see if we can get uh, more relationships solved by solving this problem of growth versus fixed mindsets in our partners.